Hi, in this video I will show you how to create your own function in VBA and pass any number of parameters to it. It is like using inbuilt functions such as sum, average, etc. to which we can pass any number of values including constants and ranges. For this we need to use array as a parameter and uh, let me show you how to do it. First I will demonstrate the use of sum function although it is very common but still let me show you. Here we can pass any number of parameters and press enter. Then we can select any range or multiple ranges. Press enter. And then we can pass some constant values and also select any number of ranges and press enter. So it calculates sum for all these values. We will create similar function in VBA. Let's do it. So let's name it find sum. To pass array as a parameter, we need to specify the keyword param array. It has to be variant. And the return type for this function can be double okay so first we need to declare a variable that will hold the sum and then we can declare another variable for loop so let us write the logic if not let us first check if there is something in the array or not. Now we need to access all the elements of the array and check if that uh, array element, any particular array element is of type range or it is some constant value. So for that we can uh, start writing a loop for i is equal to upper bound of that array. Now we can check using type name. Type name actually returns the type of variable it is. So we can check a particular element or its type. It can return either a range or a numeric data type. Let us first try to run this much. Is equal to find sum. Let me first pass some values and then a range. Press enter and okay. Let me show you. So the first value is double. So we can also check for it. Else, okay. Then again, it is double. The third element is a range, right? So now we can manipulate this range. We can have a single range or multiple ranges selected for this function, just like we did for the sum function. So when we select multiple ranges, those ranges are called areas. Let me tell you, like for each uh, cell in i dot areas, areas start with one dot cells. Basically, this is a range, the first range that is selected. We need to declare this variable. 
the cells variable range for each cell we first need to check if the value is numeric or not is numeric cell dot value now let us calculate the sum if this is not a range we can just check if the value is numeric or not sorry not cell dot values but m values i because this is not a range let us run it uh, let me show you one more thing not address so this range has the address that we selected in the Excel sheet this range now we can check the values Fine, let me run it. Why it is not returning anything? Oh, oh, we have not returned the value. Find some. Okay. Now it is turning the value. Let us use these values with the sum function. Yeah, we have the correct result. Let me now try with some mixed values. For example, if I write some text here, perfect, it is working perfectly. Let us try more, find some, right. And maybe multiple ranges let's see if it works I'm gonna use it with some function as well yeah it is working perfectly so this is the whole function very simple we just need to check if it is a range or a simple value or a constant value then we can iterate through the range all the cells in the range by using this areas collection so thanks for watching if you have any doubts please let me know in comments thanks a lot